What is going on guys? It is Bergs back here for another one. Today we have got Derringer Cherry Pouches. Before we go any further, let's get a quick look at the presentation. All plastic black can stickers on it. Uh, Derringer cherry back, or yeah, cherry background, red background. Uh, little yellow line for pouches around the side. Say only allowed the U.S. manufactured by Cheyenne International, Grover, North Carolina. CheyenneInternational.com, made in USA, 100% foreign tobacco. Tax class M weighs 0.475 ounces, so it's pretty light. Um, as you can see yellow around it uh, there is a code on the bottom but it doesn't uh, mean a date or anything D66580 uncracked can um, I have had these before uh, I have sort of reviewed them before it was on Stoker's Dippers channel but when he quit he took down his videos um, so of course I'm going to review them now Set on these, okay. It's kind of a medicine cherry, cough medicine type of scent off of them. Here are the pouches, okay. Um, you might not be able to tell without any others uh, next to them, but Derringer pouches are quite small, okay. They're pretty, they're uh, kind of, they almost look like skull bandits, okay, something around that size. 20 in a can instead of the usual 15 to 18. I'm um, going to go ahead and take four of them because they're pretty small. So, um, obviously I've been cycling through the derringer dips uh there's a couple left peppermint long cut um and fine cut wintergreen uh, i don't know if there's any others and then i will have completed that brand um like i said it's made by cheyenne if you watch my other videos on derringer you'll uh, know that i've said all this before but they make decade Never seen that in stores. Klondike, which I come across sometimes. Uh, Derringer, which is carried by a lot of people around here. And uh, Nordic Ice Snooze, which I've never seen. And um, from what I have had in Klondike, it's pretty much a mirror image of Derringer. So I expect decades probably about the same. Um, they might, they might just. Uh, sell different ones in different areas because I noticed that here in Northeast PA I see Derringer a lot if I go uh, a bit to the west uh, is where I start seeing Klondike um, and not Derringer so maybe it, maybe it, they base it on regions or something some reason they uh, don't seem to carry all of them in the same area it is um, a very low price dip um, this was 169 okay that's after our our tobacco tax increase and uh, pretty much the cheapest dip you could find okay Longhorn these days is more like two dollars uh, Timberwolf Grizzly Stokers 250 ish I guess roughly um, so yeah wherever you are this is probably gonna be the cheapest dip in the store available um, you know, cheaper than kayak most of the time. Um, I have, like I said, I've reviewed most of them. They make, um, long cut wintergreen in a six can tub, 
of individual cans, kind of a weird concept, but I did buy that one time uh, last year. And what I've been noticing, you know, across the board with this brand is that it's not really that terrible, okay? Uh, the cut isn't the best on the long cuts, but I would say it's still, the cut's still better than Kayak, uh, generally speaking, and the flavor seems to not be that bad for such a cheap dip. Um, now, however, on the cherry, we'll get into the flavor a little bit. But pouches, they're small, mini pouches, okay, like the, the weight was 0.475, that's about half of what a normal pouch can weighs, okay, so, you know, the pouches are pretty small and not a lot of tobacco in them, um, however they fit comfortably and everything like that, everything about them that way is fine, um, Nicotine, I never really got a whole lot out of it. I finished up the fine cut natural that I did, and that, you know, I felt a little something from it because it's fine cut. But the other ones, I think it's relatively low, which is kind of to be expected. Taste. Okay, this, this one does not have the best taste to me. Um... Then I should mention that I don't really like Skull Cherry that much. I don't really like Rich Blend. Um, Silver Creek Cherry didn't really like it either. So uh, I, I wasn't expecting to like it because the cherry dips just don't do it for me. However, this one has, I don't know, it, it really it just has a medicine taste. You know, not quite Robitussin, but it's on the verge of that but it's also not it it also doesn't have a big burst of flavor it's more subtle but still it's just not a good flavor to me um bear in mind i i was i, I haven't had skull cherry in two years probably but um when i was starting out dipping i guess i kind of liked it and then later on went back and had it again and hated it and thought it tasted uh, like I just described kind of medicine tasting so maybe just cherry dip is not for me but you know the nice thing about it is it's cheap enough that you can test it out without breaking the bank uh, whether you'd like it or not interestingly enough they don't make a long cut cherry I don't know why that is um, but they only make cherry in pouches So, I mean, that being said, I could finish the can, probably, will I, maybe, um, it's probably just going to get thrown aside for a while, um, but, you know, it, it's all right, it's not really anything I would go out of my way for, though, um, let's do some shoutouts, Wayside Lee 83, JP Martin Outdoors, uh, let's see, Nobody, not too many people asked recently. There were some on the last video. Uh, Big YouTuber twenty five. Um, Hillbilly and the wife haven't shouted them out lately. Uh, check out T Bone Dips, uh, Catfish Dipper. Um, I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody, but also let me know if you want a shout out. Most of the people that I used to give shout outs to have basically quit YouTube or whatever. Um, or they're at the point where a shout out for me doesn't affect them much anymore because they have quite a bit of subscribers. So please let me know if you'd like a shout out. I'd be happy to give anybody a shout out. Um, because I really don't have much of a list going at this point in time. Um, so let me know on that number of subscribers is 840 so thank you very much for that um, only 160 away from 1000 so that will be awesome let's try and get there I will 
come up with something entertaining to do for 1,000 uh, if and when I get there. Uh, rating out of 10 on the Derringer Cherry Pouches. These are going to get a 4 out of 10 for me today. This is, you know, um, the, the taste is just not there. Okay, for me anyway. But like I, like I said, cherry flavor dips I really haven't enjoyed, whether it was Skull or Silver Creek. Um, of course, if you do like cherry, if you like those cherries, it may be something to try as there is not really much of a market of cherry dips out there. So, uh, worth a try, inexpensive if you uh, like that kind of a flavor. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Check out the Instagram and Snapchat at abergs95 if you haven't already. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.